What more could they possibly be for me to say in part one last morsel of wisdom? He's certainly a man of many talents. From soapies to dramas, movies to theatre, South Australia's own Peter O'Brien is one of the most versatile actors in the country. And I had the pleasure of catching up with him backstage at the State Theatre. Peter, welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> so a Murray Bridge boy are you? Well, born in Murray Bridge Hospital, right. but raised in Tail and Bend yeah. and Jerboys. So in that, um, that axis there. I must say, life on the farm must seem a thousand years ago now. Look, it's a terrific place to grow up. I found it personally probably one of the most ultimate childhoods that you could have because you were given, whenever you had the responsibility to be able to carry out a task, it was expected that you did it, you know, whether that was from, you know, feeding the chooks to, yeah. you know, so milk, good milking value. the cows. Yeah, yeah. And, but then when, then when there was obviously a lot of stuff that you couldn't do because you weren't big enough, then, then it was free time and you just explored, you know, you went off with a... Um, with you know, one of the dogs and you just went you know, chasing rabbits. Or... Is it the sort of lifestyle you'd like for your daughter? Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I do um, wish that she could have more of that, but, but it's, um, she'd have to do it in a nice frock. Now, do you get back to Adelaide very often? Yeah, yeah, quite a lot. Um, you know, folks, well, my mum's still here, the family's here, you know, a lot of people I grew up with, but it's, um, I, I, I tend to... You know, for so many years, I just didn't have a base. Yeah. You know, I didn't really, and, and I, I suppose London was really kind of where I was placed the most yeah. as an adult. But outside of that, you know, I, I'd come back to Australia to work, to do a job. Mm. And where I was working, that would be my place. So, Adel but Adelaide always remained my base. It still, you know, remained my home. What do you do when you're here, apart from seeing the family? Do you have a, a favourite, I don't know, restaurant or a favourite place to go? Or No, I tend to hit the beach. Yeah. I like to swim, you know, sort of all all year and you know and it's actually horrifying looking back at it now sometimes I can I was thinking about the other day I was watching these guys jumping off the Nelg jetty and um, and I just remembered you know like as a kid after school sometimes when we're going to school down yeah. here just jumping off there and swimming out to the old jetty day after day and you know occasionally someone saying you know we'll give you a lift back because there's a shark around you know and that might go, not be a good idea well I just written like now now you just wouldn't do it no, but no. you know I wouldn't say that we did it every day over the summer but probably you know maybe two, three, four times a year. No doubt enough to scare your mum if, if she had have known <laughs> what you were up to. Yeah. Peter married into Australia's equivalent of acting royalty. His wife, actor Miranda Otto, is the daughter of stage and screen veteran Barry Otto. I really enjoy working with her, but it's really interesting because you go along for so many... People are reluctant to cast you I would, as, I would as have husband thought, and wife. Because yeah. they think, I don't know whether they think you're going to bring, you know, your issues from home You'll to work. You'll be bluing on the stage. Yeah, and it's kind of funny because we don't. <laughs> and it's like, we, we certainly, you know, we don't, there is no, in, you know, in, in the things that we've played together, you know, I've had to, um, you know, break up with her. I've had to, um, you know, put her in jail. I've had to, you know, arrest her and, you know, throw her around and bash her up and a whole lot of things, you know, and it's like, and this, you know, I mean, she, you know, hardly, it certainly doesn't reflect in our personal life at all. It seems there's, there isn't anything you haven't worked in. You know, theatre, film, television, a huge range of roles. Do you have a favourite? Is there one that appeals more than the others? Uh, well, they, they all obviously fulfil different things. I mean, you know, theatre is a real performance medium. Um, movies are great, you know, when you can really get into a good movie and do that. But, you know, I try to enjoy each one when I've got it. So, you know, doing theatre at the moment, I love it, you know, and I find I've got to, I've got to try and do the whole... All, in a year, I've got to try and do all of them if I can. So what have you got coming up next? Uh, who knows? It, you know, I find out... First, I find out, you know, what my wife's doing. <laughs> And then I find out what I can do. What you're allowed to do. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's um, you do, you have to work it around, you know, with our daughter. So, you know, we, we try not to spend more than um, a few weeks away so you, from each other, as in because of her. So, so you know, we finish the job and bang, you, the other one, the other person takes one if it's, you know, if it's the good job and they want to do it and then we all go. Well, you're certainly um, a great favourite of Australian audiences, both... Uh, on television, on stage, <laughs> wherever it seems you perform. So I really appreciate you taking the time. Oh, Thank you. Thanks for having me.